Joining me now from Montreal is Francois Roney. Hello, Francois. Hello, Robert. How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm glad you're here with us today. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Me too. I know that your mother is from Haiti. Yes. And your father was from Martinique. Yes, that's right. And you have spent a lot of time in Haiti. Yes. And I believe your mother is still there in Haiti now. Is that true? Yes, she is. Can you share with us what it has been like for her and for your family as a result of this earthquake? So, yes, yeah, so my mother is in Haiti and I have a sister who is in Haiti too. They are still there in Haiti. And there is my grandmother who was there too, that she has uh, 19, 90, 95 age so and and i have a cousin and two cousins with that in between these uh socialism in haiti your grandmother is 95 years old yes and you have two cousins who died as a result of this earthquake yes can you tell us a little about your cousins who passed away in this disaster oh yes yeah, doctor my cousin is uh, is he, he was uh, in Puerto Prince. It was at university because he worked in the morning. Mm -hmm. and he went to to university in the night, mm -hmm. and the university was um, uh, I don't know what I, uh, how I can say that. And the Toppled. Ex exactly with all students and teacher was in the in the university at this time. Wow, and, and your he, cousin was one of those students. Yes, so it's something who hurts. A lot. It, it affects a lot of the family because we, we, we can find the, the body of our cousin. And I have another cousin who died too in the Montana Hotel. So you have another cousin who died in the Montana Hotel. Montana Hotel. She was at the meeting there and the Montana was dropped out also. And your cousin who was in university, how old was your cousin there? My cousin has uh, 20, 21 heels. Had 21 heels. Not 20. 20, 30, 31. He was 31. Yes. And your cousin who died at the Montana Hotel, how old was that cousin? Oh, she had uh, 20. 20 years. And I know this has been difficult for your family. Yeah, very difficult. And now my mother and my sister, my godmother, they are out uh, of the 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 house. So they are now outside of Port-au-Prince. No, yes, they are. They are leaving Port-au-Prince to go to Miraguan, but and they're still outside the house. They are, can't sleep in the in, inside the house. So even in the neighboring city where yes. they where they are, they cannot sleep in their no. house. No. So the house was black. Yes, and so your 95-year-old grandmother and your mother are sleeping outside. Yes. Hmm. And tell me about your cousin who had 31 years. Your grandmother does not know that. No, he we can tell her that. Uh, my cousin was leave before to go to Puerto Rico. My, my cousin was leave be with my grandmother. The be uh, here. Seems he has five years. He lived with your grandmother for five years yeah. before yeah. he went to Port-au-Prince to go to university. Exactly. So, so we they were very that, close. Exactly. They were very close. It's for that we can't tell her that because uh, she can die. Yes, you and your mother and your family are afraid to share with her that it's your cousin has died because she is 95 and you're afraid of what that news might do to her. Exactly. I understand. And how has this affected you? I mean, you are in Montreal now, you live in Montreal, and your mother is in Haiti, very far from you, in Montreal. How are you handling your feelings about this earthquake? I'm very sad and affect a lot of. Yes. It hurts me. And is, do you think you will ever tell your grandmother that your cousin has died? If I intend to tell her that? Yes. No, no. I don't want to lose my grandmother now. I know if we tell her that, she's going to break. She's going to make a, I don't know. We can lose her because she loves my cousin. And what was his name, Francois? My cousin? Yes. Jean-Marc. Jean-Marc. And can you tell us a little bit about Jean-Marc? What kind of person was he? Jean-Marc, he was a, a shy 
guy. He was very shy. Mm-hmm. And wow. It's very, 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 very difficult to talk about him. I understand. Can you tell us what he was studying at university? He was, he was just studying about telecommunication. Telecommunications. Well, Francois, thank you so much for talking to me about this. I know it's not easy. It's more than a news story for you. This is your family. Exactly. It was a pleasure for me to, to talk about my family in my country that I love a lot.